So this is just the other side of the sculptures by the Sea Marquis. So here's a nice marble sculpture, number 18 by Keiko Keizo Ushio Ushu Amasubi. Yep. So you know, art buyers, sculptures by the sea is fantastic. This is number six by Mark Prasad, Harry Prasad, sorry, it's called Flux. And oh, some pipes, these used pipes. And what is it called? I think it's a disused pipes. Okay. I wish they had more signs. Especially for the bigger sculptures, so you don't have to go to the other side. But anyway, here we go. Um, number 50 by Ivas. Ivas, don't use rustic continuum. I'm not sure about the rustication of it. It looks more industrial. And um, looks like a climbing frame in pink and blue. So you can easily spend a lot of time here at Mark's Park just to admire the different sculptures like this pigeon adding some extra entertainment to this sculpture and it's called scaffolds by the sea well that kind of makes sense very clever professor avantika bawa so i think this would be an, another indian um entry so scaffolds by the sea yes i do think you need a lot of scaffolding when you've got these massive sculptures around so yes i like his sense of humor very clever you know while people are out there enjoying the sculptures there's a lot of organization behind it Ooh, there's even some tactile tools okay so there's a lot more sculptures here so number 22 uh, Moving Sun and Silent Cloud by Osamu Onishi and Dr. Masako Onishi. So, what a cloud it is, though, yellow and red. You know, I mean, the good thing about sculptures is you can make it out of any material that's available, you know, so. One. Might be part of the other one, but here you go. There's still some more over there. There's some steel, more of the wooden sculptures. So let's have a look at those wooden sculptures. So maybe it's a dingo with a heart. It's called uh, Those That Run With Dingoes. Oh, well, there we go. I was right. And that's by Clancy Warner. Gosh, sorry, I'm here with the school kids unfortunately. This is by Britt Nicholson, Reformed. So we'll just try ignore that YouTube. I can't really avoid the school kids because they are here, probably as part of their arts program. This is Latika Cat, Inner Connections, and I dare say, you know, you have a look inside the shadow and the light. And there's some over there as well. Twisted metal. So, what's that one? Dr. Peter Tilly, the dream. Oh, what an odd dream it is. Looks like a boat. One's dreams, one's inspiration. I like this one. This is 42 by Ariel, a friend of Watchful Encryption. Maybe it's a DNA thing sequence of the waddle but look this seems to catch a lot of people's eye it looks like a blue sort of figure so what is it is it a gorilla or an ape very blue 40 <laughs> well this is different it's rather rude actually it's by um dennis de francesco and it's king kong balls He's got golden balls, you see. <laughs> That's clever. 
And there you go. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> King Kong balls. All right. Wooden sculpture. And um, yeah, I like this one. I do like flowers. So this is very pretty. I like it. Is it tulips or roses? It's number 39 by Dr. Rehain Kim and it's called a daydream. There we go. And then there's more over there. Wow. <sighs> well, there's some hula skirts there as well. This is another sculpture in granite, red granite. Oh, it's been sold. By Dr. Harry Prasad, and it's called Red Fold 55. So, this is the view. The rocket attracts me. By small rocket. This is by Leo Lumens. A couple. Let me see. Can you see the couple here? Intertwined hands, maybe? Yeah, there's intertwined hands. And this is the Pula, I think. Let's have a look at the Pula quickly. And it's by Margaret Hogg. Sorry, Morgan Hogg. Tuoro, Tuoro. So, I'm not sure which Pacific Island that is. It's got nice shells being decorated. Okay, let's go over here and see what else is available. Before I end, number 53, the wind is blowing by Kochi Kino. Okay, well the wind is blowing but it doesn't look that blowy to me. Maybe further around the headland, I think near the toilet block, there's another sculpture. Quick look over here. Well, this happens to be a sculpture. I thought this was some sort of, um, you know, work zone, but it's by Patricia Matakanofara, Secret Woman's Place, number 52. So I'm not sure if we can lean over and see what else is in there. Can we go inside? Yeah, there is. You've got some dilly bags there. Japanese inspired. Anyway, let's have a quick look what's in here. Next to the toilet block. Yes. Okay. Number 61. Dennis Pepper. Women wear trousers. I can't really see the trousers. It's all very elongated. But I'll go over here. We'll see what is over here. Number 60. Dr. Byam Q. Kim. It's called City Time. And it actually shows you the clock. So there's 12. So I think it's the other way. Okay. So I think it's supposed to be facing the other way. But there you go. There's the day. Yeah. So there it is. I think this is the way it's probably done. 12, 1, 2, morning. Yes, in the daytime. Okay, and then I'll quickly go through here. And gorgeous, see? Gorgeous view. And yeah. Hey, this reminds me a bit of Singapore's palm trees. Uh, Silver Lining by RM Ron Gong. Okay. Looks like a nice fruit ball. Well, difficult football really, if you think about it, you got to reach up. Maybe palm trees, 58, Michael Snake the Choir, okay, we'll see. And there's a navy boat, I think, in the distance. Yeah, 
two major boats uh, in the distance, power, powering northwards. We should stop over and have a look at the sculptures. Akira Kamada, where the wind blows. So a different type of weather vent again. Okay, so a nice day out here at Sculptures by the Sea. By the ocean, really. So I think I'll end it here with a view of the spaceship because I do like the spaceship. Very attractive. Yeah, there's a spaceship. I like that spaceship. It's an ode to Tintin. All right, Sculptures by the Sea 2024.